Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Monal Vilangi. I am nutritionist by profession and also on the committee of Nutrition Society of India, Mumbai chapter. I'm today here to talk about role of functional oils in bone diseases. As we all know, muscular skeletal diseases are ranking second highest on the global burden of dis disability related life. Osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis and also your low back pain are the most common musculoskeletal diseases. Osteoarthritis is a chronic progressive degenerative joint disease characterized by inflammation and cartilage de degeneration resulting in pain, loss of functional ability and also stiffness. What are the risk factors for osteoarthritis? We see aging, smoking, obesity, sedentary lifestyle, high total fat intake, nutritional deficiencies and poor intake of antioxidants which are also resulting into inflammation. Researchers have told us that now we have to review our definition of osteoarthritis and not just look at cartilage degeneration but also to look at inflammation. And because of that, today we need to develop more and more anti-inflammatory and antioxidant strategies which could be really essential in managing and preventing the faster progression of osteoarthritis. Going back to the basics, if we see Hippocrates, father of medicine, has also mentioned, let thy food be thy medicine, let thy medicine be thy food. With that, the food industry is now exploring newer and newer functional foods to come up with newer strategies to develop therapeutic and preventive approach for osteoarthritis. When we talk about osteoarthritis, it can occur at either hip, knee or spine. These are the three major joints. But nowadays, if we see here and there, everywhere within your family or neighborhood at your workplace, someone or the else is telling you that I am having knee pain. I'm finding it difficult to sit down. I'm finding it difficult to get up. I'm finding it difficult to get into the train, get off the bus. It is really difficult. All these are the minor signs of knee osteoarthritis, but definitely needs to be diagnosed by a, an expert orthopedic surgeon. Once the diagnosis is there, there are four grades. You have early grades and you have later grades. The early grades are manageable by nutrition, which is a non-pharmacological uh, approach, but less explored. Hence, what are functional foods and how do they play a role in this? Functional foods are foods which provide therapeutic benefits in health and disease. What is the main reason in this? It is, they are bioactive compounds. Bioactive compounds have two roles. Antioxidant, which controls the oxidative stress. And secondly, the anti-inflammatory, which reduces the inflammation, which is a major causative factor in the osteoarthritis as well. As we see, refined carbohydrates, Mediterranean diet, whole food di diet, all these are factors which are also playing a role in the management of your knee osteoarthritis. VCNO is an emerging functional oil in market. It has good profile if you see from the fatty acid point of view. It has good profile with respect to tocopherol content as well as polyphenol, extra, polyphenol content. The fatty acid composition if we talk about, yes it is rich, rich in saturated fats but the fat is majorly lauric acid which is hypolipidemic as well providing you lot of benefits, cardioprotective, renoprotective, hepatoprotective good for brain, good for all the major factors. Recent studies have also shown that virgin coconut oil has the health benefit in bones. How? Because it is improving the osteoblastic activity and reducing the osteoclastic activity, thereby reducing the oxidative stress and more beneficial in case of reducing the bone resorption. Hence, VCNO needs to be explored more in other disease conditions as well especially in knee osteoarthritis it might improve and potentiate the effect of vitamin d in the in management of symptoms and also delay the progression of the disease thank you